Okay, let's talk about eyes for a second. The human eye. Right now I have a plain blank white sheet of paper in front of me. Okay? And then I had those two layers I added. When you draw in white, basically your eyes will never be able to relax that well. The one thing you always have to worry about is eye relaxation. If you relax your eyes and learn how to do that, your painting will take shape a lot easier. Same with sketching, drawing, any traditional media, anything art related. If you can understand the core shape behind what you're looking at, you'll be able to translate it back onto canvas, paper, clay, any form of media. So white is really hard for us to relax the pupil. Now, so what is? Well, it's different on every person. I can't tell you what a perfect value of whatever to relax your eye muscles. So here, what I'm going to do is make on this layer black. What I want you to do is kind of stare at your screen. If you, you make your document, stare at your screen and kind of relax your eyes. Okay, and as you do, I want you to adjust the opacity all the way down and then all the way back up very slowly until you feel your eye muscles kind of contract a little bit. If you do it right, you should see like these outer edges shake a little bit. Okay? So right now, I could say about 42% in this lighting, in this room, based upon this computer, because there's a lot of factors that change to tell you what kind of gray that you're going to be looking at. <laughs> the room, the, yeah, everything. Different computers. Okay, so 42% on this computer works for me. I like it. So now what I have is a background layer. I have a layer one, which I can adjust the opacity on, and then I have a layer two. Essentially, this is going to be my scratch pad, okay, while I show you how to make really good brushes for Photoshop. So I'm going to go save as. I'm going to save this onto the desktop of my computer and call it scratch. Okay. All right. Now that we have our scratch pad, we can start making some really nice brushes in Photoshop and some really nice tools based upon those brushes. The reason we have tools is there's more than one thing that you can use for a brush. There's a lot of things over here that I use all the time. Um, Dodge burn. I use, you know, a few other things over here like smudge in different ways in order to mimic traditional media. So that's in the next video.